Hi everybody, I am so sorry. I was jibber jabbering away and talking and I hadn't hit the record button. Hi, welcome back to Vampire. Uh, in the last part we fought some douchey um, hunter dude and uh, where we almost had the opportunity to turn him and I was like, uh, no, so I had to sacrifice my XP for it. And now so we're- So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. Right. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Right, so I had to make my way back to Doris's theater where we fought her before because we need to rescue Edgar at Swansea. And Doris, uh, this is serious, yeah, right, because everyone, um, because we didn't turn um, Aloysius Dawson into a vampire either. Um, everyone in this district is sick, so I do have to run around eventually and heal them all, or I won't. I'm kind of over it at this point. And... Um, my mom's sick though, so I might want to go heal her. And I was just literally saying, like, I would totally make Swansea my progeny. I think he's great. But he probably wouldn't want that, which I respect that. Alright, let's just murder everyone. It's totally, totally fine. Yeah, it's a leech, it's a leech. Kill him. Kill him. Take take claws to your face. Take take claws to your face, god damn it. Oh! I didn't even see you, dude! You're so weird. No, stop it. Just freaking die. Yo, the sword is great. It's the sword we got from Doris. It's the best. I think I have it fully upgraded. I sh should have probably checked before I came here, but yeah, whatever. All right, uh, what are we doing? Ooh, what'd I take? Bottles of something? That's what it sounded like. I'm supposed to be- oh, he's downstairs. I can- I can see him through the floor. It's totally fine. Right, this door's locked. It's locked. It's the door Doris came out of when we fought her. So, let's go through the open door, I guess. Let's see anywhere else to go. Be strong, brothers! Dr. Jonathan Reed's gonna come kick yo ass. Hi. <laughs> ah, I'm here to rescue my buddy, my friend. Dude, ooh, more bottles. Dude, those are bottles, not bullets. The dude who came and gave me a ride on his boat uh, in the beginning of the game, which was like 6,000 billion years ago. I remember that. It was a great time. I love boat rides, but I don't. I kind of get seasick. Oh, God. Well, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Where am I going? I never used to get seasick. That's a- that's- or, um, like, air sick. That's a new thing in my life. When I have to do an international flight, once- I know the cabin is pressurized in an airplane, but once I hit a certain altitude, I'm like, puke city. Yeah, yeah. I puked like the whole nine hours on my first flight to Germany. That was horrendous. I never want to do that again. Take a lot of Dramamine. Die! I don't know where I'm going. I'm already in this room. What am I doing? Wasn't I? Oh, poor Swansea. He has an incompetent friend. <laughs> ah, what? Woo! That's fun. Oh, yeah, the boxes. I remember these. Oh, God. I wish someone could tell me. Rat. Delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can believe it. If I turn my gray power on, will I be able to spot more people? Or... Alright, because I'm just going to try and find people and see if that's where I have to go. Hello! Die for it. Thanks. Oops! Ah, oh, damn, hit the wrong button. I wasted some blood. Oh, oh nothing. Oh, it was a big old pile of nothing. Oh, Dr. Swansea. I want to save you. I really do. But I can't figure out what the hell I'm doing at the time. Stop screaming. I'm coming to either kill you or save you, depending on whose voice it is. It's the below the floor. Let's try down here. Have I been down here? I've, yeah, I have. This is where I've already been. This is the stage. Ooh, delightful. Gather information about Edgar Swansea's work. I don't approve of this. This this I don't approve of at all. I don't approve of how they've set up this little quest because there's nothing to pick up. And if, there we go, there's something, finally. McCollum's report, 1106, so June 11th, 1918, almost a 2018. I just finished reading Doris Fletcher's journal as painful and dreadful as it was. My God, the woman planned to see everyone in London afflicted by infecting all who would come to her next play. It helped me understand greatly what is going on. Doris Fletcher's real name was Doris Jones. Right, I figured she was Harriet Jones's daughter. She was the daughter of some Harriet Jones who has been treated as a patient for a long time at the Pembroke Hospital. She clearly hated her mother, but used her fame and notoriety to see her while visiting the poor and sick in the East End. I don't know exactly what happened then, but this is how her mother infected her before returning to the theater, and how she turned into that monstrosity that the leech known as Jonathan Reed finally defeated. But uh, really, she's immolated herself, so I didn't do much. The presence of that vampire in the same hospital where Harriet Jones was treated can't be a coincidence. I am convinced he is deeply involved with the vampire plague going on in London right now. I'm not. I'm not deeply involved, as far as I know. But Harriet Jones certainly is. 
I am also convinced Swansea is his accomplice and that those two are planning something more terrifying than anything the guard has ever faced. Maybe I should take some time to read the old books and manuscripts the guards still possess to get some answers. It may prove useful. In the meantime, I better send some patrols to investigate about what is occurring at the Pembroke Hospital. Okay, two months apart. August 11th, 1918. It took me two days to parse through the dusty registers and books we keep in the vault. God, I hate losing time like this. The search did prove fruitful for once. I found two pages that could be, unless, wait, no, two days. Okay, see, that's weird. That's weird. Um, because if we're in England, uh, as far as I know, they put the month, they do, they do the dates like they, we do here in Germany. They put the months in the middle and the dates first. Um, but here it looks like they put the month first and the date second, which is how we would do it in America. So, excuse me, this is November 6th and 8th. The search did prove fruitful for once. I found two pages that could be related to our present situation. Oops, drop my... <laughs> controller, in a copy of William Marshall's memoirs. I took them with me to read more carefully. This creature, Marshall, says he fought in 1666, this disaster that aimed to destroy London. It is very similar to what happened with Doris Fletcher, disease infection, hate of the living, desire to see the city ransack. I have no doubt now that the bloody old leech of William Marshall is behind all of this and that he is back. Could be our sire, I don't know. Could be our greatest accomplishment, if the guard could at last find and destroy that old bastard. I believe what Marshall did in 1666 is exactly what what Reed is now trying to do. Did the creature, this disaster, escape their will? Is it why Marshall destroyed him in 1666 and Reed did the same with Doris Fletcher before she became such a creature? I, I didn't hit anything. I have it on the ground. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. But those two are clearly working together and Swansea is helping them. I will immediately give orders to have him arrested and interrogated. As for Reed, I'll destroy that evil beast myself and then we'll deal with William Marshall and this disaster thing. Prewin will prevail once more. Boris yeah, well, it didn't work. Was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Ooh, theater stage key. All right. Good. All right. Is there any more information or is that it? Because of that key, I'm pretty sure... I mean, I don't know exactly where it goes, but I know there was a locked door somewhere. I just gotta go find it again. <laughs> Fear no evil. I sound like a cowboy for some reason. No, that's the door that leads outside. That's not the theater key thing I'm thinking of. Oh boy, I gotta find where this... Oh wait, I know. Oh, moron am I. There's another door down there. Oh, such an idiot I am. Keep it simple, stupid. I don't know why the simplest answers don't seem to make sense to me. I always try to think outside the box should stop doing that because I don't even know what a box is. This way. This one. This is open now. Yes. Thank God. What now? Uh, yeah. I'm coming for you, Dr. Swansea. What else we got? Oh, I figured that was a journal I could read. It's just laying there for the taken. Anything good. Good stuff. Good stuff. No good stuff. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, what in here? No civilians allowed! No civilians allowed! Do I look like a civilian to you? What are you wearing? Yeah. Jesus, you got a flamethrower, dude. Did you know that? Wish I could have it. Alright, tons of locked doors. From this. There we go. It's locked, alright. It's locked, alright. Wah! Let's read this. Vampire Knight, new collectible. William Marshall. Forget the legend about the man, the one most of you never heard of, you lazy bastards. Forget the empty tomb in Temple Church. Forget the death of those. Oh! Yeah, there's a. There's a. There's like a hidden the pressure plate thing in the temple church. I want to figure out. Forget the death of those among us who died trying to locate him. We, the guard, know that he is still hiding somewhere. That's the only fact we must keep in mind. Another small detail we need to... What? There's the only fact we must keep in mind. Another small detail we need to keep in mind. Who wrote this? This little fucker is clever. How many times have we thought we had cornered him to finally only find... Oh... Old dust and cobwebs. As someone who likes to write stories, this is horrible writing. Marshall has been a vampire for a thousand years. We're no match until we change our plans according to this hunt. No, concerning this hunt even. So here are a few questions for you lazy bastards, and I want all of them answered before speaking of another great hunt to pin the leech down. Who helped him escape his den under Temple Church? We now know for a fact that a private contractor was paid to move a large coffin from the church a few years before we investigated the tomb. What exactly did the traitors of the Brotherhood of St. Paul discuss with Marshall when they met? Oh my god, look at the tenses they're using. Listen to the sentence. What exactly did the traitors of Brotherhood of St. Paul discuss with Marshall when they meet in 1785 in London? 
it, it's it's past or present tense. You gotta pick one. The report of this meeting has been burnt, but witnesses remain of a request made by Marshall to access a specific book in their library. I I'm very into grammar and correct spelling. That's just a part of me. Love me for who I am. Why does the monstrosity known as Lady Blackwood seem linked to Marsh Marshall? They exchange letters. She went in London to meet him in 1786, according to the Brotherhood spies. She tried to discreetly buy his castle in Wales in 1793 before fleeing when spotted by our fearless mentor Kendall Stone. See the pattern here? Not really. What happened during these few years? Why such agitation and activity? Answer these questions, my brothers, and you will find the path to our most eminent foe, William Marshall, oldest vampire of England to survive our righteous wrath. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldrich, Prewen Leader. You're a terrible writer, sir. Take away your pen and your paper. Confiscate it, because you're awful. Take this out, Jesus. William Marshall's Memoirs. The Brotherhood of the St. Paul Stole finally agreed to meet me in London. They proposed to meet inside the new cathedral of St. Paul. I like the wit and solemnity of these men. What a symbol to choose the place where I defeated this disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agreed to their proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church and under the eye of God, they respectfully... They respectfully listened to me. Who they acknowledged my victory against this evil creature, the Dus Astro, the Eater of Stars, who only wished to spread death and pestilence all around her. Since they ag oh, so hmm. I have a feeling Lady Ashbury has something to do with all this. Since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they heard my request, my burning desire to stop the blood of hate. Their primate promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name, the Tear of Angels. Or Tear of Angels, I'm not sure. According to him, this ancient artifact could heal anything. Cleanse any blackened soul and purify my blood. Blessed be the Lord, it took me more than a hundred years to find a cure for the blood of hate, but I may finally have found it. Soon the rage shall end. Soon I may repair the wrong I did and cleanse my failures. Now all I need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact. Blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king. To find such rare ingredients is not what worries me the most, for time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But if that's the price to pay to cleanse my soul and correct my mistakes, I am ready to endure this excruciating pain. Alright, well William Marshall, who is possibly our vamp daddy, um, definitely is a better writer. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. It's fine, you don't have to Perhaps understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Okay. He said it was something to do with King Arthur. Evidence safe. Until further notice, the safe will be used to store sensitive evidences. It must always be locked. If you need access to it, just find me on the last floor to get the key. And bloody remember to bring it back to me when you're done, Rodney. I should find the key to that box. You sure should, Jonathan. Pandora's box investigation update. Oh, that was for that, um, dude. Our buddy. Our tarot reading guy. Uh, this door? Yes. Excellent. Oh, Swansea. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Tis. <laughs> oh, easy there. Easy. Could have cut his wrists. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Well, take him out. What are you sitting him down for? Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar. What happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCullum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. Really? What became of him to prove him wrong i let him go really well i would have sure killed him but it didn't give me the option to time will tell the most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and i were the pawns of some ancient vampire william marshall yes they they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. Oh. 
I'll just ask this. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Well, I'm going to ask you stuff anyway, apparently. Why would the guard of Prewin believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. I know, what's his face from the Ascalon Club thought Lord Redgrave thought he was his descendant, but he like maybe is, but like really way far down the line. Or I'm guessing he's our vamp daddy. Why is the guard of Prewin so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Okay. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. What about Harriet? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter. Full of hatred and festering anger. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? I don't know. I'm gonna have to embrace you, aren't I? Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. I can't tell if he's being purposefully to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies <laughs> is not the devil This is a work. little worse than rabies, you nutball. Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. Oh, plot. okay. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? 
Lady Ashbridge. I While know it. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it. I boldly ventured into experimental realms, but I've killed no one to appease my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no murderer. I never asked to become what I am, Edgar. You chose to conduct your rogue experiments. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Oh. Oh dear. Victimhood is fun. I don't want to let him die and I don't want to- I don't know. I don't have 3000 XP to turn him though. That's the thing. I mean, it doesn't say I don't, but I'd like to. I'm just gonna turn him. I, uh, uh, I'm just gonna turn him. No, oh. Edgar. <laughs> you are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After oh, you all, all good. I was worried he wasn't going to want it. Eh, you people like mistakes, this whatever. Gift. I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. <laughs> but it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've oh, always good. searched well, I'm for. I'm glad to be of assistance. Very well. Always. Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. Yep. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, oh, I am know. ready. You can say that all you want, but you'll never be ready for it. To do all the book reading you want, it's different living it. Enough! I hope your face is as gross and weird as mine. Okay. A <laughs> loading screen, really? Jesus. The dying Swansea. The district will suffer the consequences of your actions. Chapter six, patient zero. Prepare to fight the disaster. Right. I need to go into the basement though, because I need to get the thing for the box. So I need to figure out how to get in there. Ever that is, and uh, then I can do worry about this nonsense. But I don't know where that would be, precisely. Right, that's his office. I want that key, damn it! Alright, and that's the other way in. That's just gonna lead me back to where Swansea is. Oh good, I went around in a big circle while Swansea sits in this chair and does nothing. Wake up! <laughs> be reborn as a vampire of the night! How do I get out of this room? God, I hate it here. I was gonna keep going in a big circle! How do I get out of this place? How do I get out of here? Tell me- oh, there we go. I'll say, tell me your secrets, beast. Um, I don't want to talk to Lady Ashbury. Lady Ashbury can fuck off. Who do I get in the basement? How do I get into the basement? That's what I want. I want- want- whoa, no. Want this. I can't- I can't track that. Poopykins! Uh, man. There's gotta be another basement area that I just don't know about. It's gonna be another down portion of this place. Let's see, that's up. Hmm? Oh, it did pop up. There we go. Where's the downness? This is not down. Shut up! Shut your fat face! You're not helping. You're not helping little head thing. Oh, I know. Maybe, uh, let's go... let's go this way. Maybe this is the ticket. No, definitely not. Oh, I found this random dude here. Oh, look at these random guys who reappeared. I'm running around this theater looking for a way to get into a basement. Were you freaking down? Um, Jonathan, do you have to miss? Is it a requirement for you? Jesus Christ. Freaking guy. There we go. I can now open the box. Great. I just had to wait for them to spawn or something. I just had to run around enough for the game to go, oh gosh, what are we doing? <laughs> That's fun. Uh, ooh, a rat. Let me eat him. Delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I have this. I have this thirst for blood. Such a weirdo, Jonathan. Go, run across. I don't know who that dude is still yelling, going, Remember your vows, friends! Because it's like super annoying. I wish he'd stop. No, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here with his face. 
I wanna be where the people are. I wanna I really don't know if I should read this. Right, he said don't read it, and I'm not gonna, because I feel like if I read it, I'll fail the quest, so I'm not gonna read it. I feel like he'll know, he's like all about tarot and stuff, so just won't read it. It's fine, it's fine. How are the people looking? People are looking horrible. Uh looking just, just awful. I mean, none of them look great. At least he's still alive. Huh, I missed out on two hints for him. I didn't know that. Damn. Should've killed him. Ah! Uh, um, hmm. I still wanna kill her. I still wanna do that. And I still wanna kill the priest here. And figure out who the hell this guy is that I never met. Alright, so I have minus a thousand XP, so this is the perfect opportunity. This is the perfect time for me to run around and uh, heal people and eat the people that I don't want to be alive anymore. Whatever happens to the district, I don't care. And, um... I really don't. I don't care if the district falls. But um, I think I am going to end this part here. If you did enjoy, you can let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to. And as always, a huge shout out to my first $5 patron, Skeleton King. And I'll see everybody in the next one. Bye bye.